Okay, hey everybody, this is Mr. Roche. Um, and so instead of having class, we're going to do this project on um, uh, um, Tinkercad circuits. And we're going to look at a um, this thing called a seven segment um, display. Um, and this assignment comes from Owen, who is really interested in this. And I thought I would show you all how to do this on Tinkercad. So what we want to do is have it be able to show numbers, um, you know, on the screen and have it do like counts and stuff like that if we can do it, okay? So here's how this works is that each one of these um, segments is just like an LED light. So you can run them all like from one Arduino. It's hard to run a whole bunch off of one Arduino, but there's ways to do it. But let's learn how to use one, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that out, put that up there. And um, we're going to change this to, um, remember the anode and the cathode? We want them to have a common cathode so that we can send different signals to them easier to control. So we're going to go like this and say common cathode and let that be. Okay, for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the normal breadboard. Right there. And breadboard small is still good for us, so we'll do that. And we'll pick up an Arduino. Okay, so it's a lot like uh, what we've been doing, which is good. And then we're going to learn how to wire this up. Okay, so basically this and this are going to be here. And um, these, uh, these kinds of components have, you kind of plug them into a board like this. Okay, they have kind of two sides of pins. Okay. So if you look um, at it, it has a common ground pin. This is a pin on this side and a pin on this side. So we're going to kind of ground that. And then it has these other pins like A will make this light up. B will light, make this light up. Down here, there's a thing called DP, which makes that light up. There's C, which I think is this. There's another common ground. There's ED, which is this, I think. E right and then up here is I think this goes to this and F goes here and I guess yeah yeah that covers everybody so that's it okay so every one of those pins as long as they're, they're kind of hooked up will will work okay so let's get one to work so what you need for this is um, these are a whole bunch of like parallel circuits that'll be hooked up to each pin so you're going to need some resistors. And actually, if you use um, the law of equivalent resistance, which we know about, we can just take one big um, 1K ohm resistor, and it'll, it'll do the work for us here. Okay, So I'm going to take this one. It's like 1,000 ohms. And we're going to set it here. And what I want to do is get it to the ground. Uh, actually, maybe I'll do this and put it down here. OK. And then what we'll do is we'll connect this to ground, which is over here. Okay, and we'll get that done. Square this up. So making it look nice is part of it. Um, and we'll make it black since it's ground. And then what we're going to do is we have to get the common grounds to sort of go to this. Okay. So I'm going to connect. This is connected. This is like like pinned into this uh, part of the breadboard. So if I just go like this. Uh, yeah, I'll go like that to here. Okay. Make that black so we know it's black. And it's common ground. And I'll go like this with this one. I'll go like here. I'll go like that. Okay, I think this will work. And then I'm going to bring this one over here. Okay, because these guys need to kind of share the ground. And then I'll bring a wire over to this. It's a little bit wiry, but it kind of makes sense. And there it is. Okay, so these guys are all hooked up. And then um, this sends all of the ground current through this to here. So that works out pretty good. Then what you can do is you can hook up, um, we're going to hook up like different um, like uh, pins to the different, um, you know, parts of the, of the, of the letter. So or this is A. So I'm going to go like this, 
come up here and take this maybe to um, pin number two. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna keep this low. We're gonna have a lot, a lot of pins being used here, and that's that's part of the problem with these things. Um, but I'll make this. Uh, let's make it a fun color, like pink. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so that's that's the basic circuit. Okay, so this will light up like this one thing. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is do a little bit of coding. Uh, let me see if I can shrink this up a little bit and move it over. And um, what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna go like this. We're using pin number two. You can see it, and we're trying to light up this little segment here. So I'm gonna go to the code. Uh, we're not gonna use blocks because we're big kids. And uh, we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna do like I'm gonna follow this this kind of like like example. Okay. So I'm gonna make. Uh, I like to use variables for these kind of pins. So you want this to be a. So I'm gonna make a constant. Um, integer called a and I'm going to label it pin number two okay and then I'm going to go here and go a it's going to be output pin and then we can try this like this oh, this is a little bit slow so just so you can see this and make it go high and we'll we'll try this out okay So you can see what it does. It sort of blinks and stuff like that, which is good. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to kind of make numbers. Okay. So if I want to make an eight, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna not gonna do this. I'm gonna make a make a routine, uh, subroutine. I'm gonna call it void like make eight something like that. Okay. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna turn on every single light. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll do this. And we have to have one that turns them all off too. Be helpful. Void like all off. Something like that. Okay. And what's gonna have to happen is we'll just have to have these all these pins. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to copy this. And make eight is gonna turn them all on anyway, right? So we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna put the the turn off one here. Okay. Like that, that seems good. Okay, turn it to low. Okay. And then I'm gonna start running things from my routines. Okay. So loop is still the routine though where everything happens. And we're gonna go make eight, even though it's not gonna look like an eight yet. We're gonna delay. Or I don't know, let's say 200 uh, milliseconds, and then we'll say all off like that, and then we'll delay for 200 milliseconds again. Okay. So then, if we do this, see what it does? It's doing it's doing what we we're doing before, but now we have an ability to add do more stuff. Okay. So let's say I want to add this one, which is B. So this is pretty easy. So what you do is you go like this. Just make another connection. Uh, oopie. Here, I got a problem here. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently. Okay. And um, sorry, what I want to do here is go here. Um, green looks good for this one. We'll go to three. That looks good, right? And then what we'll do is we'll add this. This one's supposed to be called B. So we'll go constant int B equals three. And we'll set the pin mode for output. And when we make it eight, we have to turn this one on too. So we'll keep this going. And we'll go to here. And we'll turn it off when we're done.
and let's see what happens. So that's great, right? So your job will be to keep this going, okay? And what I want to see is an entire eight from you, okay? And, um, you know, uh, let me move this because it'll make it easier because you can keep all the pins up here. Um, let me go like this. Okay. No, I did something bad. Um, let me see. Here you go. I'll cut this from here and I'll put it here. So that way we can keep it all together. Right. And this is still doing what, it's, what we think it's doing, which is good. And then your job will be to make all the rest of these guys. If you make the DP pin, that's that's okay. So you have to go this, this, maybe DP is like the middle, I'm not sure. You go C, comma's done. You have to go D, E, F, and G. And show me you got an E, okay? That's the assignment, okay? So turn that in. I'll make an assignment for you. Um, it's due, um, I guess... By Tuesday, if you can make it do different numbers, I'll give you more credit. Like if you can make a count to like 10 and stuff like that, I'll give you more credit, okay? But let's say we make an 8 and then make like one more, one, one more number. How about that? Thanks. Bye.